Hi guys, this is Rachel here. Just going to show you a quick tutorial of what I did to do my Vados makeup. Uh, so as you can see, I've put my contacts in already and my head cap just to make things easier and mark a template. And yeah, I'm just going to add some moisturiser. It's always best to moisturise and uh, cleanse your skin for cleanse your skin then moisturize before doing makeup so i'm just going to stipple the makeup brush in some water and just make it a uh, very very lightly damp you don't want it too too wet otherwise the makeup will come in a huge splodge so i have a enamel brush and the one i have currently is a stipple brush so i always use the stipple brush first so i just tapping all the water out <laughs> and i dropped the brush a few times sorry and basically the stipple brush gets the makeup better in your pores and gives you better coverage and these are my um eyebrow makeup and eye lid makeup and also all my so my lip glosses my lipstick and various other things so i'm just making sure everything prepped especially for my eyes as well because i like to give enough impact and i use a snaz for my face i just use a standard it's like sky blue just for undertone and a normal aqua blue for just the normal face so i'm just going to step on some sky blue just to give some color to my cheeks to give a little bit more texture and tone to my skin rather than just being plain blue and uh, so i had to get the brush just the right um, sort of texture of um, dampness so I'm just going to stipple some here on my cheeks and uh, I pretty much put a little bit everywhere else just to just sort of get a little bit of coverage so not too much um, especially um, not around the eye area too much because otherwise if you put your eye makeup on it generally doesn't stick so as you can see just a very light covering nothing too heavy and yep so no nothing around the eyes at all so just to start my off so you just got to let this first layer dry. So as I am, I was just prepping up my stuff. So prepping my eye makeup. Uh, I just like to put on a very light eyeshadow just so I've got a marker of um, where I'm going to put. So I'm just going to put a very light layer of white eyeshadow on just to give a base coat and just to um, bring out the rest of the eye covers out a bit more when I apply them. Uh, so yeah, I tend to use about um, three odd shades of blue. So I use one on my uh, main eyelid, um, one on the top of the eyelid, and then um, some shared shades just under the eyebrow area, um, just to sort of make my eyes look a little bit bigger, um, rather than it all being one particular colour. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I did feel, um, try filming putting in the contacts, but they were an absolute pain in the ass. It took me 10 minutes to put my contact lenses in, and I was just getting really frustrated, so I just put them straight in rather than messing around on the video. So I'm just going to add the normal layer of blue now. So uh, just, again, just make sure that your brush is mildly damp. Um, I, I think when I did this, I did make it a little bit too splodgy. So as you can see, too much water just makes the makeup just one big mess so just use the stipple brush just to um tone it in with the other makeup and it um really gets into the pores and makes it look a lot better and a lot less messy so i'm just gonna stipple on the cheeks and around the eyes again try not to put any of the um, actual facial makeup on your eye area like i said earlier otherwise your um eye makeup won't stick and it will just rub off and it well, well, I just won't stick very well in general. I'm just putting a little bit around the um, the under eye uh, just for now. So again, just make sure that you use equal brushes. So I'm just using the uh, normal brush or the spreader brush just to sort of do my neck. The neck area doesn't have to be too perfect as always it's going to be covered with a turtleneck. So I'm not going to be too worried about that. And just lightly stipple the ear. Don't go to OTT doing the ears. Just put a light covering. You don't have to go all the way in your ear. Otherwise, you're going to have a horrible blue earwax after you, no matter how much you clean. So again, it's going to the forehead. Uh, obviously, I use the um, wig cap as a light sort of um, marker. So I know where the wig's going to go. And I'm just going to try and do the back of the neck best i can because always if you do your face blue and don't bother the back of the neck it does look a bit weird <laughs> uh if if you need a better mirror you can just go and use the bathroom and go and use the better mirror as you can see in the background there i had quite a nice little bathroom but i just prefer to sit at the desk because it was just easier to have someone to have my makeup and not go all in the sink and go all over the place so i'm just going to lightly dab some makeup around the lip and under eye with the uh, line brush because this is a slightly thinner brush so it's good to get in a little nook and crannies or like your nose and cheeks and everything and just makes it look a whole lot better so as you can see with the the blue that i did on my cheeks earlier it does sort of come out slightly purplish um not too much but it kind of gives like a, a more of a natural glow to a blue skin look if you know what i mean so yeah just going to make sure that all the areas i need are covered 
and yeah <laughs> so you just uh, do as much blue as you can and um if you do and um, the good thing to have with snaz is have a um a set spray as well so it avoids cracking so i'm just going to do the lips now uh this is a purple lipstick that i got from a london-based makeup company it took me forever to find a decent purple lipstick uh it cost me about 20 pounds but it's worth it it does stick quite well and um it works quite well with glosses and other things so uh always good to have and i always take it with me to cons in case it does rub off because obviously if you eat and drink it does um it can come off so i'm just going to um just slightly um, mark the lip area i don't want anything too ott so um it's quite easy to blend in with the blue makeup as well so it's easy just to use your fingers just to um dab it in or as i do use the line brush and i'm just going to add some um more blue paint just to make the um the lip a little bit more pronounced because she is uh, a very posh sort of stylish character she sort of always looks very uh, has a very glamorous sort of British accent, so I imagine her to be quite posh, you know, sort of a cup of tea sort of lass. <laughs> so I'm just going to add uh, what I can just to make the lips look light and lush and luscious. So moi. <laughs> then I'm going to add a light gloss coat of lip gloss just to give that extra sheen and a little bit of protection. So I generally just use this one just for Vados because obviously the lipstick does stain the brush, but if you've got a spare brush then hey ho buy one it's always good so next i'm going to work on the eyes so i'm just going to use a light sky blue and dab it under the eye because it has a slight glittery effect but nothing too ott oh well i should say more metallic and just put it around the top of the eyelid just to um sort of give it a nice little bit of a blend in the gloss so dust 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 And again, under the eye area as well, just to give your eyes a little bit more um, volume and make them look a bit bigger. Uh, this makeup palette I got in Wilkinson's. It has a nice shade of blues. It's the uh, Mermaid palette of fantasy makeup. And I use this pretty much all the time. It's just such a nice range of different colours. They have about three other palettes. Uh, one's like nude colours and one's like pastel pinks. But blue's generally my favourite and I picked up just for Vados. So just a nice glitzy blue. So they have about three different blues in this. They have like a navy, uh, aqua, and like a nice sort of teal and um, bluey sort of colour. And uh, this other makeup palette I bought in a makeup store in my hometown. Uh, that's uh, literally just makeup. And it is literally a godsend of a store when it uh, comes to cosplay. I can't remember what it's called, unfortunately. Um, but it had a really nice mix of very hard um, eye shadow. And it sticks really well. So I'm just going to get a eye pencil and obviously just do my eyes. Uh, I do um, two pencils. So I start with a black eyeliner just to, again, give that a bit of boldness to your eye. Uh, I don't use a liquid eyeliner. I'm terrible with it. I, I tried it and I just made such a pig's ear out of it. I just stick with pretty much eye pencils. Uh, it's simpler and um, sometimes I do use fake eyelashes um, but at the time unfortunately the ones I had the glue had completely dried out so I had to stick with um, mascara. So this is the uh, glitter blue pen which I also bought in the same store as the uh, blue eyeshadow palette I mentioned earlier. Uh, it's got a nice glitzy effect and it's quite a nice strong navy blue and obviously with Vados being blue it goes really well with the purple contacts and makes it stand out a lot more. So, sorry, just fiddling around. This is when you're doing with so many brushes, you have a lot to sort out. <laughs> so next up, I am going to try to sharpen the pencils a bit because they did keep snapping. They're quite soft. So again, just keep adding the eyeliner shadow as much as you are happy with it, just so you've got that right tone. Uh, I guess it could also work for wheat as well. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do my makeup. Uh, this is the, um, I think it's the L'Oreal uh, Manga Eyes uh, Mascara. I always use this. It's just such a nice, bold um, eyeliner and it gives really nice um, manga style eyelashes, hence the name. So uh, some, it's not too thick depending on how much you use. It can get a bit blobby sometimes, but always just use a, um, a eyelash comb um, or brow sorry i can't talk the eye brush pencil um sort of brush thing so you can just brush it out or just use your eyes or a bit of tissue and like i'm doing here just dabbing out the excess and just making them look correct so if you get the odd bit on your nose it does wipe off quite quick if you have a makeup um wipe or something or just brush it off and then just reapply the makeup 
So just getting my eyelashes just the way I like them, just not too thick, not too thin and lovely and long. So lovely eyelashes, got to be fabulous if you're going to be Vados. So I'm just going to uh, finally add a layer of uh, fine glitter dust, which is from Snazu as well. It's a, like a light blue. I don't get it out directly from the pot. I put a small amount in the lid and then brush it on. Because if you do a big clump, it can come out as one big dark splodge. So just do it very lightly and just dust it over your skin. It gives a nice light glittery iridescence to the makeup. So I brush it all over. So it's a nice sheen to it. And especially on the cheeks as well, on the cheekbones, just because um, obviously you can't use normal um, cheek tint. So I just use glitter gloss. And this is the set spray that I had. I had to spray it out a couple times too, just to get the clumps out. And then spray it over my face. And it basically sets the makeup. So obviously make sure you've got your eyes closed and your mouth closed so you don't get it in your gob. So that is the makeup tutorial guys, so I hope you enjoyed it and I uh, hope this will help you if you're doing any future Dragon Ball Z makeup or Dragon Ball Super. And um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions at all. So this is the Otaku Review saying sayonara, stay nerdy, stay happy and keep collecting. Sayonara! Yeah.